In this video, we're going to look at how to make text and writing look really, really cool in Inkscape. Now, if you're making a poster or if you're making any kind of thing that you want people to look at, the writing should jump off the page and make people really want to read what you've written. Now, on the screen, you can see five different texts that I've written. And what I've tried to do is make each one of them stand out or catch the attention of somebody who's reading it. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the outline text. I'm just going to click on the text button. I'm going to click somewhere and just type in a word. In this case, I'm typing outline. I'm going to press control on my keyboard and make this a little bit bigger. Now, control on your keyboard, make sure that the letters stay the proper size when you make them bigger. I'm going to double click on here and then click again inside so that I select the whole word. I'm going to go down and choose a really cool font. And that's the font I've chosen. What I'm going to do first is go to the black arrow button, which is the most important button in Inkscape. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on my text again. Now I'm going to find a color. And in this case, I'm going to choose a kind of a green. And then I'm going to go right into the bottom left of my screen and just click once there. And that brings up my fill and my stroke window. Now the fill I've already done and the stroke I'm going to now set as a color. You can see that the green's already chosen. I'm going to change that just slightly into a lighter green. I'm going to go to the stroke style and just click until it's a little bit thick. That's a bit too thick, so let's go back down. I'm going to go down to about 2.3, 2.2. There, that's about perfect. So there's our example of the outline. It's a bit different from the one that I did before, but you can see that it really does stand out. Now, a lot of times people ask me, how do you make text curve? How do you make it go in a circle? It's actually really quite easy on Inkscape. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second so that we can do that again. Again, I'm going to choose my text tool, type in the word curvy, press control on my keyboard and make it bigger. I'm going to double click and then click inside to choose my text. Again, I'm going to choose that lovely font and just like before, I'm going to make it into a blue like so. Now to make it curvy, you want to take any kind of curve. So in this case, I'm just going to take the pencil tool and I'm just going to draw a curve. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to click on the black arrow and then I'm going to select both the text and the curve I drew. And you can see that both are now chosen. I go up to the menu where it says text and I say put on path and it will just put it on. Now the really cool thing about this is if I mess around with the curve, the text kind of moves with it. So as long as I do something to the curve, we can mess around with the text. Let me just undo that. A very important point is if you try to move the curve, the text goes with it. And what we can do to get rid of this quite ugly curve is select it, go into the stroke, and remove it. And there we have our curvy text, which is really quite easy. For this disco, which is one of my favorite things to do in text, it's quite easy. What we need to do is again, go down to our text, type in our text, click on the black arrow, make it nice and big. Again, click inside and choose our font. Now what we're going to do is use very bright colors here. So what we're going to do is choose a red. Click on the black arrow like so. Now on our keyboards, if we press control and D, it is a duplicate. What that means is it copies it immediately. I'm going to move that just a little bit forward and choose an orange. And you can see already we've got the red and the orange there. I'm going to press Control and D on my keyboard again. Move it a little bit this way and this time choose a bright orange. 
and there we have our disco. Now, it's a little bit hard to read the yellow because the way yellow and white don't really go together. So I'm going to choose the yellow text over here. I'm going to go to the stroke, click on it. I find black a little bit too dark. So what I'm going to do is in the stroke paint, remembering that I can choose any one of these to choose the color. In this case, I'm going to go to orange, like so. And make it just, yeah, a little bit orange and the stroke I'm going to make a little bit thinner and you can see that it really does stand out now. Now before we move on to the last two texts I want to talk a little bit about these kind of text effects where you have a number of different texts overlapping or on top of each other. Now if I try to move this disco I have to move all three texts all the time. This is going to get really boring. I could select all of them and move them. There's nothing wrong with that. If we want to make our life a little bit easier, one of the best things we can do is select all of them, go up there to object and group it. And what Inkscape will do is now think of it as just one object and not three. So I can now move it around. So I'm going to put that there. For the amazing, I need to do something very similar to the disco, but we're going to learn something new about strokes. So what I'm going to do is, again, choose my text, type my word, click on the black arrow, press control on my keyboard and make it big, like so. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Again, I'm going to go for the same font that I did before. And again, I'm going to make this red. Click on the black arrow, click on amazing control D to make a copy. Let's make that orange, control D, and let's make that yellow. So it's very similar to disco right now, so we have to do something different. So let's move the yellow down, let's move the orange down, and let's go to the red amazing. What I'm going to do, I seem to have another copy there, so there we go. What I'm going to do is go to my stroke switch it on. You can see that the stroke is orange and I'm going to turn that back to red and this time around I'm going to make the stroke really quite big. I might even go to, yeah, let's go to 12 and what I'm going to do is put the orange on top and you can see that now the red has become a really big outline for the orange. For the orange I'm also going to switch on the stroke and this time make it orange like so and for its stroke I'm going to make it a little bit bigger as well so let's go to about four or thereabouts and I'm going to just put it there and now I'm going to put the yellow inside the orange and you can see using three different letters with different strokes we can make a really really nice looking text let me just group that and move it near the original one there. Now for the last text that I drew, which is the Amazing Girl, you can see that it's very similar to the Amazing. So it's roughly the same, but something has been added to it. So let's get this one going. So that will be, as we've done for all of them, write some text, black arrow, resize it to something, double click it, click inside again and I can see it didn't choose everything so I'll do that one more time there you go choose the font and again like the disco and the amazing we're going to make that red we're going to click on the black arrow control D to make a copy which will be an orange control D and this will be yellow just like the last one I'm going to go to the red go to the stroke, make sure it's nice bright red and this time I'm going to make this around 15. I'm going to go to the orange, I'm going to go to the stroke, put on a stroke, make it orange and this time I'm going to make this 6 like so. 
and that fits just perfectly in and we're going to put the yellow inside the orange and you can see that it's very very similar to the amazing that we made before now for this I need to zoom in a little bit because I've spotted a bit of a mistake you can see where the red a was there is now a little point which happens sometimes in Inkscape when you make the stroke too big so what we're going to do is select the red and what we'll do is we'll just rem reduce the stroke until that point goes and you can see just there it's gone so I'm kind of happy with that we can move the orange a little bit like so and move the yellow until it's just right now while we're zoomed in this is really useful for you to see what we're going to do is add a shadow to the yellow and the orange and that's what gives that really amazing -er effect that we've got up there so if I zoom in I'm going to click on the yellow like so let me just move it a little bit yep that's the yellow I'm gonna to go to filters go down to shadows and I'm going to put a drop shadow on it now I don't know what it looks like so I'm going to click on the live preview button and you can see already that there's a kind of a shadow underneath now you can adjust this a little bit so don't be afraid to play around with some of the numbers so for example if I move this top number down you can see that I've got a sharp shadow so if I make that a little bit more you can see that it's kind of blurry out of focus so what I'm going to do is just mess around until it's about there that looks quite good to me and I'm going to press apply and close now what I'm going to do is click on the orange let me just move it a little bit yep that's the orange and again filters shadows and glows and drop shadow I'm going to again click on live preview and I'm going to press apply and then close now you can see that we've recreated all of the text that we started off with I think you'll agree that it's actually not that hard to make text jump off the screen and look amazing